If Joyce was cooking today, she would be the epitome of what a restaurateur is. She used to run a restaurant for no other reason but to cook because she loved it and to give people an amazing time. Joyce is one of my heroes. She's an actual food hero. And I was a little bit taken aback and actually couldn't speak to her. I was, I was lost for words. So you, they say you should never meet your heroes, don't they? But I met her and she was fantastic. Her generosity with food, her patience and in her teaching, and the fact that the, her food is completely timeless. It was lovely, the number of uh, young people that we employed, and really, it, it, was, it was very nice that some of them had never waited before, so they did waiting and cooking, and it was lovely to see them go on and have their own place. It's very satisfying, it's very, very enjoyable. It's almost like having a family. I bought this book when I first started cooking, um, it actually came out in 1990 when I was only in my first year at secondary school um, and in the book it just, it just speaks to me in words that I sort of think about as well about food. She cooked what she wanted to cook, how she wanted to cook it and it was always about being tasty in the ingredients. So when people talk about we have a farm, we pick this, we forage this, we have farmers, we have fishermen bringing things in, Joyce just did all of that. Not because it was a good idea, not because it was a concept, because like that's what you did in those days. You know, it happened every day. People would walk in off the street with, you know, with they might have had they might have been fishing salmon on the dart, they might have been making goat's cheese, but it was happening here every day. I think it was incredible, you know. There was a photograph of us uh, holding a I think a twenty-eight pound salmon or something like that. And that was quite extraordinary with with the local fishmonger supporting me as well outside the front door and that was absolutely splendid. Some people out there, younger chefs, may never have heard of her but I can assure you, you need to find this book, go and grab a copy, you know, it will change your view I think on cooking and it's so current as well with what's happening nowadays. You read about this lady, I can tell you it'll change your life. I'm very lucky actually having spent all my working life since the age of 18 uh, in, enjoying cooking and actually having had the good health to actually enjoy it at the same time. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. cheers. And, uh, to you. And thank yeah. you very much, cheers. everyone. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Thank you. I do.